We're now joined by the Minister for Sport, Pascal Senange. Minister, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So I want to begin here uh, with the World Cup taking place in Qatar. Of course, a historic moment for Canada after such a long absence. But you actually made the decision not to attend. And reports uh, attribute that to your decision to stand in solidarity with the 2S LGBTQ community as well as uh, foreign laborers. Talk to us about that decision. Well, you know, I used to be a, a union leader and everyone knows that I'm gay also. Um, so, you know, even though the, the World Cup is a sport event, uh, it's also for government to send representatives, it's also for di diplomatic reasons. Um, so it was the right call to send Minister Sajan, who's responsible for international development, who already has relationships with his counterparts in, uh, in Qatar, but also all over the world. And it was the right moment to have those conversations about uh, labor rights, about the LGBTQ uh, community as well, and their rights. Um, so uh, that's, uh, that's the call that the, our government made. Well, as you say, uh, you're gay. You're the first uh, out lesbian serving in federal cabinet. Was, was Qatar even a possibility for you, or did you know from the start you would not be going? Well, the important thing for me was to have the right person to have those conversations and advance human rights. Uh, in Qatar, but also all over the world. And it's by having those conversations and good relationships with our counterparts that we can have those open and transparent discussions. Uh, and Minister Sajan has worked uh, on the uh, international portfolio for a while. He already has those con conversations. So uh, it was the right call. And for me, it was about cheering for our team right here in Canada with the rest of uh, my colleagues. You know, we watched a game uh, uh, when we had time uh, during uh, in the lobby in the House of <laughs> Commons. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, it's a sporting event, but for governments to send representatives, it's more about the diplomatic relationships and, and conversations. Were you at all worried that perhaps they wouldn't have been as open to listen to criticism or, or commentary for, from an openly gay woman? I think that those conversations are better when you already have a relationship with the people. And uh, Minister Sajan has worked for years uh, building those relationships and, and bringing Canadian values uh, in each of those visits, um, and and uh, and you know and, and build that trust and that uh, openness. So uh, and and that's the context that needs to happen uh, when you want to challenge, um, you know, other uh, other countries. Uh, values and, and policies. Mm -hmm. And you know, you talked about that relationship and I think it's important to acknowledge the fact that Qatar did help out Canada in evacuating people with ties to this country uh, from Afghanistan when, when Kabul fell. So given that relationship and despite all the criticism, do you think the marker has been moved at all when it comes to labor rights, when it comes to, to spirit LGBTQ rights? Do you think that marker has been changed by Canada's involvement and Minister Sajjan's uh, attendance? Absolutely. Uh, there has been pro progress in, uh, in Qatar about the labor rights. It's not perfect. There's still work to do. Same uh, for the LGBTQ community uh, that are still repressed in Qatar. Um, but, uh, you know, by building this kind of relationship with other countries, that's how we can uh, move forward, you know, our democratic values and, and uh, social values as well. So um, nothing is black and white and uh, not talking to anyone and isolating like some people think that we should have done is not necessarily how we can improve people's lives in other countries that are repressed and uh, are um, under a lot of pressure uh, in regards to labor, uh, labor rights as well.